How's it going everyone? It's Code Actually here, back with another video. Today we're going to be um, talking about networking and setting up a domain name service and services. I uh, don't mind this, we'll just go ahead and close out of this. Um, so right now, all you have in is is uh, IP address, right? Your local machine, the 127.0.0.1. Obviously, people with outside of your network can't even connect, um, even if you do give them your IP address. This is where you're going to have to port forward and, or set up a DMZ. I will leave a link down in the description below to port forward. Follow that video first, then come back to this video. Um, now let's assume that you already know how to port forward and how to set up a DMZ. And now that um, you give people your IP address, you know, when you go to ipchicken.com, um, and uh, you give them your IP, now they're able to show this web page because you give them your IP. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna have to set up a domain name um, or domain names. Um, first things first, what we wanna do is go towards our terminal, make sure that you are root. If you're not root, type in sudo tac i, then uh, hit enter. Uh, then we're gonna go type in nano uh, slash etc slash hosts. And go ahead and hit enter. Uh, yours should similarly look like this. Uh, what we want to do is type in 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 tab tab your domain name. So my domain name is what we're setting up is teaminfection.com. Then go ahead and repeat the same process, but type in www.teaminfection.com. They did a little bit different with the addressing. So it used to be. Um, um, 1.2.0, or excuse me, 127.0.0.1, um, but now they uh, changed the addressing a little bit different, so um, do this. Um, if it does not want to show up when we uh, type in our team infection, so right now when we're typing in teaminfection.com, um, if that does not want to show up on your site, uh, then go ahead and type in 1.2.0. Or excuse me, 127.0.0.1. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and um, save it by hitting Control O, Enter, and uh, we're going to go ahead and hit Control X. So now, um, if we uh, refreshed it or type in teaminfection.com, if it wants to go through, normally this site would appear. So there's a little bit of files that I messed around with earlier, but don't worry about that. That's okay. Um, so um, here are a couple of commands that we're going to be entering. Um, I will give you the commands um, down below in the description. First things first is th what you want to edit is it'll be your team infection um, or whatever your domain name is. So right there, we're going to type in team infection.com. Or yours could be I like cats.com or I like cats.net, then followed by the dot conf. So now we're going to go ahead and type this in, or slash um, copy, then paste. And go ahead and hit um, enter on your terminal. And since um, we renamed it, we want to make sure it matches. So on the next command and paste that in and now we're gonna modify some files so um, if you know what this um, if you're a programmer you know what this hashtag or the pound sign is it's commenting everything out we want to uncomment it out um, then we're gonna type in the www.teaminfection or whatever your domain name is dot com then go ahead and um, hit enter and type this in on a new line uh, then teaminfection.com or whatever your domain name is so first part is it has the uh, server name www.teaminfection.com then uh, server name teaminfection.com note that there's not a www so we don't want that we just want the one up here and the one below here um, so it's your domain name so www whatever your domain name is, then below server name, then your domain name without the www. Okay, now um, here is um, 
where you want to put in your email. So, for example, I'm just going to put it root at teaminfection.com. Or it can be um, your Gmail email. And that's completely fine. Um, the document root, we want to correct the... Um, um, the correct folder where we're going to have all of our HTML files or PHP files. So for you, what I would do is uh, have slash var slash www slash your domain name, then slash uh, public underscore HTML and leave it at that. So not .com or anything like that, just the, just the name. And now we have our logs, so that's a good thing. And is there anything else that we have to put? Nope, that is it. So go ahead and hit Control O. Go ahead and hit Enter. And we're gonna back out. So if you wanna set up a secondary domain name, it's the same process of what we just did, right? So um, you can have um, you know, your, your second domain name here. And you know, uh, copy that and put it right there. It's the same steps of what we just did. Um, this is just an example, so we can actually just get rid of that. Um, now, what we want to do is type in your domain name right there, teaminfection.com.conf. And if you have set up a secondary domain name, you know, put that right there. Uh, if you set up a third domain name, you know, just put that right there and enter in the command so we have a one domain name that we have um, entered in and we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that in um, yours will show differently uh, but however I already did mine um, next thing is what we want to do is we haven't created the folder so we're definitely gonna have to create the folder of what we just uh, did in that uh, conf file so you want to go to CD slash V a R slash www and now we're in um, our folder so um, we definitely got to correct the path so MK directory so MK dir then your um, folder domain the aim that we just did without the dot com then go ahead and press enter um, I already have that um, created and after you type in that command type in CD then the domain name of the folder then we are gonna have to create the uh, public HTML folder so MK dir then public underscore HTML which mine I already made so just go ahead and press enter for you and type in CD public HTML and go ahead and hit enter and um, yours will not have the HTML in it but we definitely want to create a HTML file just for a test so we're gonna go ahead and type in nano then uh, index dot HTML and I already uh, put a code in so this is the page that will be displayed and um, you can put in um, hello world or whatever you want if you obviously you should know how to code HTML um, go ahead and hit control O and save and control X to get out now um, that we have that set up and it's the same step of what we just did for your secondary or third domain name so just keep that in mind now what we want to do is we want to reset our Apache server so um, right click paste and now it's resetting okay now our servers back up now what we can do is go towards our teaminfection.com and that definitely uh, did not go towards the correct domain so uh, there's gonna be another um, doo -doo 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 -doo, another command okay so now that we actually corrected the uh, domain name um, it showed the this this page instead which is going to our var slash www slash HTML folder um, so to correct that uh, what we need to do is go back towards our um, um, our comp file so it was um, this command right here and go ahead and copy that paste that in and hit enter and what you want to do is on your virtual host 
put in your domain name dot com then the port so it's going to be port 80 so in this format uh, before it was this uh, but now uh, get rid of that and just type in team infection or whatever your domain name is hit control o and hit enter and uh, hit control x then we're just going to type in sudo service apache reload uh, and um, the uh, sudo service apache 2 reset um, then it'll correct the domain name so now as for this is all locally done Th this is this is good this is a good thing um, we're almost done what we're gonna have to do is go towards your host which is um, mine is um, um, godaddy.com so let me go towards my domain name and um, now that um, we um, are on GoDaddy, yours can be uh, Network Solutions or whoever hosts your domain name. So this is going to be different for you if, uh, if you don't have GoDaddy. Let me scroll down because it shows some personal information. So you want to scroll all the way down. It'll say Manage DNS. So you want to um, go to your DNS. And right here, it, this is where you want to um, change your um, change the IP address. So this is where you go to ipchicken.com, grab your IP, paste that in. So it's a, a type, then it shows the at, right? So there should not be anything else that has the a type and the at. Um, it says MX, but it has the at. That's something else. That's for your mail. Um, and it shows NS. This is your name server, and it shows the at. But there shouldn't be anything else that has the a and the at under the name there shouldn't be anything else it should just be one and that's where you want to um, edit put in your IP address so I'm just gonna for example this is don't put that that's that's local host just put in your IP address go to ipchicken.com then uh, grab your IP paste that in and hit save so after that it will take probably five minutes to update uh, sometimes it can take 48 hours it really depends on who your host is GoDaddy is actually really good so it should be instant then I then I can uh, be able to go towards um, teaminfection.com and this page will show up right here so yeah just as long as you port forwarded or did your DMZ follow the tutorial of what we just did of setting up a virtual host um, if you want to set up a secondary domain name um, follow the same steps and go towards your um, whoever host is your domain name um, and there's that a record and there's the at then update the IP address with your IP and you're good that is it that's how you set up your domain name um, yeah um, if you guys find this video helpful and, um, education, if you learn from it, I can definitely ask for, you know, a like for the video. If you can subscribe to the channel and share this video, um, on your social media, share any of my content on your social media, anything and everything does help out. So, um, additionally, if you, um, need uh, um, any personal assistance you know um, leave a comment down below and um, additionally I am doing a video every Saturday and if you want to ask me something feel free just go ahead and put your name or your last name or your username or put anonymous and put the message right here and uh, who's it for Codexual and hit submit and um, I will do a Q&A on Saturday and uh, talk about everything. So um, please, please subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Uh, and we'll uh, see you in the next video. You take care.